Hey, what is up guys? This is Rich here with Gaming Tech United, and today I want to talk about Watch Dogs, and more specifically, the citizens of Chicago in Watch Dogs. If there's one thing that we all love to do in open world games, <laughs> that's just to go around and kill the citizens. You know, throw grenades at groups of crowds, uh, shoot rocket launchers into the streets, drive on the sidewalks uh, to see how many people you can hit in a row. It's just something that we do. It's not something you can do in real life, so it's something just funny to try in video games. These people don't really have backstories they just kind of feel like bots they're just space fiddlers really they don't really say anything they'll let out the occasional scream or whatever but there's no really reason for them to be there other than just to fill the streets or fill the sidewalks one thing that i really like that ubisoft has done in Watch Dogs is that they've almost given these characters a backstory and in fact they really have given them albeit a really short one but it, it kind of gives the characters a backstory of sorts. Now you might be saying, Rich, what are you talking about? Now in Watch Dogs, if you don't know, you bring out your cell phone and when you press the square button on PlayStation platforms, it brings up uh, a scanner. And through this scanner, you can go over the individual people on the streets, on the sidewalk, in cars, whatever, and it'll give a nice little blurb about them. Whether it be, you know, this person uh, recently bought a house, this person collects comics. Or, you know, it can honestly just go all the way to being sad. It, it can say things like they're terminally ill or they're HIV positive. So with that in mind, when you're walking through the streets and you scan these people, sometimes it'll pop up and it'll say, oh, you can steal money from their bank account. Now, sometimes it'll say they're a high profile account, so you can get even more money from them. Sometimes, you know, like 16 grand, stuff like that. So as you're going through, and, and this game has almost formed a, a moral compass for me, and it's kind of it's kind of almost it's really cool to say, you know, I'm walking through and I see someone, and they have a, a big big bank account that I can steal from, but it says you know that they're terminally ill, and I'm like I, I don't know that I really want to steal from them, which is really really it's just awesome to see that. I don't know if this was intentional, and I honestly don't think it was, but it it almost kind of seems that they've created a somewhat of a morality system in the player's head now don't hit the comments and say oh rich you're just being a bitch you know that's stupid for you even to think i i just as much as anybody else i like i said in the beginning of the video i love to walk around sometimes just throw grenades in the crowds shoot the old rocket launcher around drive up on the, sh the uh, sidewalk and kill some people but i sometimes I do find myself saying, oh, well, I don't know that I want to steal from this person because they just went through a divorce and I don't want to add fuel to the fire and make their life even worse. And I think that that's pretty cool that video games are coming that far. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to subscribe to us. Hit that thumbs up button because it really helps. And uh, again, my name's Rich. I'm with Gaming Tech United and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.